questions. That's all right. My mother said, you're not marrying my daughter because you want to go to Australia. It was time to sort of um, leave. A lot of people we knew were leaving and we thought that we'd have a better life. I wanted desperately to be an actress. I had already started in England. I'd played every role that I ever dreamed of playing the lead in. Unfortunately, my husband passed away four years ago and uh, that was very hard for me. Lost my husband 25 years ago. He died after the matinee, and I went back to the theatre and played that night. Because, well, what could I do? I mean, it was all over. What we do is organise whatever that individual client needs. So for one person, it might be assistance with showering or dressing. For another person, it might be transport to activities or to exercise classes, medical appointments. Couldn't exist without them at the moment. I just could not manage. You can't really put into words the kind of feeling you get when you get to see somebody who needs 24-hour care and needing full-time assistance to watching them just need a little bit of support and being able to sit with them, have a cup of coffee, have a laugh and enjoy what life looks like today. Megan comes on Tuesday, and that's when we go to the hospital. And she comes on Wednesday from 8 till 9.30. And Sunday we go to the movies. We become critics. <laughs> After the hospital that I didn't want to go into a, a home, I know they're wonderful and they're there for you when you need them. It's surrounded by memories. Everything is here. This is where I want to stay. Everything that's happens here should be done her way to suit her. To identify what it is that that person likes to eat, the way that they like to go to sleep, the way that they like their lights in the morning and in the evening, the way that they like their bed made. If we can continue to provide that for them, we're giving them their life with just a little bit of extra support.